Periscope, what's up? Greg Howes, Monday morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning. Hope y'all had a good weekend. Good morning, good morning. Tacoma, Washington, early in the morning out there. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Tallahassee, Florida, going on 9 o'clock in Florida. Good morning. You got the coffee going this morning? Shots of espresso, wow. High energy, yeah. Having a green smoothie? No, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I try not to drink anything green. <laughs> good morning, good morning. It was a good weekend. We came out of, uh, hey Frankfurt, good morning. Came out of our second worship service yesterday at Cornerstone and it was snowing like crazy. Everything was covered with snow. Snowed all afternoon, wow. And something else. Something else. Tammy, good morning. But we made it. You get the snowblower out last night, get the shovel out. Word was good yesterday, all right. Excellent. Hope the word was good where you go to church. Hope the fellowship was good, the worship was good. Memphis, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, we had snow in Chicago. Yes, we did. Snow in Chicago. Good morning, everybody. We got to get rolling here. I, I got to get over to our school and do some devotions with our uh, school kids this morning. So let's get moving and grooving. Maryville, good morning, good morning. Your mom lives in Park Forest. Yeah, the snow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Raleigh, North Carolina. Wow, look at that coffee. Got some cinnamon in your coffee. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about humility or about humbling ourselves. Last week we were doing quite a bit with pride. We were looking at Leviathan, the king of the children of pride. And um, I've been addressing some things in our church here at Cornerstone concerning pride, concerning Leviathan. And yesterday we shared in communion. And so I was sharing with the people during communion time how we must humble ourselves. We must humble ourselves. And I use Philippians chapter 2 as the uh, scripture example for humbling ourselves. It talks about the mind of Christ. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, here it is, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven, in earth, and under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So we have Jesus as the model of one who humbles himself. Jesus left the glories of heaven, came to the earth, took the form of a man, and the scripture says he humbled himself. He humbled himself, even becoming obedient to the point of death. James chapter 4 talks about this issue as well. It tells us that God gives more grace. Therefore, God says that he resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. I want you to pay attention to that. God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. So, so we have to overcome this, this issue of pride in our lives, this, this force in our humanity that pushes us to strive to gain a reputation. It pushes us to fight for positions and titles, for seats of power and authority. It pushes us to push other people out of the way. It, it, it inspires us to feel like we're superior to other people. 
uh, that we're better than others, that our gift is better than others, and we, we get into this, these competitive tussles with other believers trying to prove that we're better than they are or that we know more than they are or we're more faithful than they are, we're more loyal, we're more dedicated than they are, we're more committed than they are. And, and so we have all of these things that are stirred up in our lives by pride, and yet the scripture says God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. James goes on to say, therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Did you hear that? Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will be the one who lifts you up. You don't have to lift yourself up. The Lord will lift you up if you humble yourself in his sight. Peter says something very similar. Peter says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and he will exalt you in due time. Now those fit the example we saw about Jesus in Philippians chapter 2. Jesus humbled himself. As a result, God highly exalted him, gave him a position of, of authority, in creation, in the universe, gave him a name that's above every other name. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. So all these things happen as a result of Jesus humbling himself. When Jesus humbled himself, the Father exalted him. The same thing's going to happen to me and to you. If we will humble ourselves, the Father will exalt us. Now look at that, look at that process that James walks us through again. Submit to God. Resist the devil, draw near to God, cleanse your behavior. James said, cleanse your hands. That's speaking of your behavior. Cleanse your behavior, purify your heart, your motives, your intent, what's coming from the internal architecture of your life. Purify your heart. James says, then lament and mourn and weep. Lament, mourn, and weep over sinful things in your life, over the pride in your life. And then the final step is humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. He didn't say humble yourself in the sight of people. He said humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And if you will do that, the Lord will lift you up. The Lord will lift you up. So let's go run through that again. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. Draw near to God. Cleanse your behavior. Purify your heart, lament, mourn, and weep, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. That's what happens when we humble ourselves. It'll work the same for us as it did with Jesus. He humbled himself, God lifted him up. You humble yourself, God will lift you up. You don't have to fight for it. You don't have to strive for it. You don't have to kick people out of the way in order to get something. You don't have to fight for a position or a title. You don't have to be competitive against other believers. You don't have to judge other people or be superior to other people. None of that has to happen. None of it. Just love people, relate to people, believe that all people matter to God, live in peace with all people, do your thing, live life, enjoy it, live out your dreams, and let God exalt you. Let God lift you up. And when God lifts you up, it'll be right and it'll be the right timing. It'll be the right timing. God sometimes waits for our character to be developed because he knows the kind of character we're going to need when he does lift us up. So let that character uh, development take place in your life. Let God deal with those issues in your life. Humble yourself in his presence and he will lift you up. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. I hope you believe it today. Amen, amen. I appreciate you. I love you. Thanks for being on with me today at this short leader scope. Thank you so much. Good things are happening today. Open doors, opportunities, new connections in your life, resources coming, and you have favor with God and man. I declare it in your life today. Sickness and disease is under your feet. You are healed in the name of Jesus. So live in health and strength and wholeness. Live in the high energy that God is giving you today. God bless you so much. Have a great day. Enjoy the day. 
Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I'll talk to you soon.